Hello guys, welcome back to KDT Fishing and welcome to a bit of a new video where I'm just going to show you how I prep some of my winter baits. Now for me, this part of the year for sea fishing is hands down one of the best. You know, I love uh, fishing in the summer for mackerel and bass, but in the winter, the whiting, the cod, you can still get the odd bass and you can still get the odd mackerel, especially here down in the southwest. And I just love it, you know, the stormy weather, the, the challenge of getting a big cod, especially again in the southwest, which is quite rare. Um, I just love it. I love the rain. I love the extreme weather conditions. And I don't know why, but it just suits me. Um, there is the enjoyment of being in the sun on the rocks. There's nothing better, but yeah, I love the winter and I love getting ready for it. In this video, I'm going to show you how I get ready with some of my baits. I've got lots of different videos coming, such as my rigs and you know my preparation in terms of my tackle bag. So keep an eye out, leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what your favorite part of the season is down below in the comments. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hopefully you get some tips. And if you have any tips as well, then be sure to get them down below. You not only will you potentially help me, but you might help someone else. Okay, so I've got my bucket to make sure I don't make too much of a mess. Scissors, my three containers. I'm hoping to do about 45 baits now. Bait elastic, really cheap to buy in the tackle shop. And then my baits, I have got black lug, frozen black lug. Two packs of it. And a lot of wastage paper. I have got some soggy paper in this one too. So this one is a pack of squid. I bought it yesterday, but I've just let it thaw out in the night in the fridge. So a good old pack of squid. Let's get rid of you. <clears throat> and then I have got an old pack of squid. There's just a couple left in here. Some little ones get that used and then some razor clams um, I'm not sure how old these are these might be like like a two-time frozen bait but I'm still gonna use it because when it's wrapped up with black lug or squid it just compacts solid and it's absolutely perfect very small squid and Do a three-way cocktail here. Do you know, a bit of a fun fact for you guys. I was once featured in the Angling Times as the cocktail kid. With two huge um, tench. I had a massive hole of tench. And they decided to feature it and I won a few prizes. Okay, one thing I did forget and I recommend is a towel. I'm just going to get one now. Not sure what condition this black lug is in. It's quite old. Never been thawed out though, so should be uh, semi decent. And yeah, that's alright. It's thawed out okay. Let's just get the one there for now. And let's start again so I have actually got a tool for this uh, which I might start to use when I do the fresh stuff in a minute but yeah basically three baits all together there. I'm just gonna fold the black lug over again and then I am just going to start wrapping so you just get the last stick hold it down with one foot one finger or thumb and just start to wrap and just gently work your way down the bait. You can neaten up as you go along. So just gonna make sure that the lug is folded down nicely. The head is actually just caught in there now, so that's folded alongside it. It's got a bit of shell on this uh, 
razor clamp still, but it's just fell off. I was going to say that should give it a bit of strength. Just needed a bit of strength there. And then you get it, make a loop with your fingers, pop the bait elastic back in, pull tight until it snaps. And there you go. There is one cocktail bait. Obviously when that refreezes, it makes it solid again. And then obviously during your session, as it starts falling out, it obviously re re starts to re slowly release this flavor again that's locked up inside all of this. So yeah, one down. Let's go. I'll do one this time with the tool. <clears throat> so you get, it, get yourself a worm or whatever cocktail it is that you're doing and just feed the worm onto the tool you're gonna pierce it every now and again but it doesn't matter just keep feeding it onto the tool all the way all the way on like that and then same again with a squid right through the head into its body and then that they're both sat freely on this tool now you can then align it perfectly and then when you squeeze them both together it's now ready for your bait elastic Get your bait elastic try and find the bait elastic end and then start again squeezing the tool together and there you go that is so much easier the, and the good thing about this doing it this way is it gives you less bubbles in the um, in the squid because you're you're going the right way towards its head you still do get the bubbles the air sockets but not as much and the overall presentation is much neater turn it around do the same again and push its head down a bit so there you go finish off and through the loop and pull tight slide it off voila right I'm not going to bore you with too many more I do one more on the tool this time with the clams as well and then I'm going to finish off there Clam, squid, and black club cocktail. That's already four in the pot, ready to go baits. So that's it guys, thank you for watching. I'm just sat here in my little fishing shed, if you will, fishing den, um, surrounded by all my, my fishing tackle literally everywhere you look there's fishing tackle um, so I've just got some merch in the back with the load one just to get it tidied up a little bit I've got a bit of a fishing map which shows you locations around the world um, especially ones that I want to go to so I'm gonna get that in here and, and just turn it into a bit of a fishing office if you will for making these types of videos anyway I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching look out for my new video on my new spot coming soon where I'm going to be doing a lot of my winter fishing and uh, I'll see you around thank you